Did you know you can eat delicious, lose weight, and be fit? Sweet potato, cassava, and green plantain chips with pesto. Amazing crispy sweet potato chips. Sweet potato chips are amazing. You don't even have to peel them. They're super easy to make. Slice your sweet potato real thin, place them in the hot oil, and fry them until they're crispy. Place some oil that has never been used over medium-high heat. Amazing and delicious. Once they're ready, drain them next to the pot and then place them over paper towels so that all of the fat goes out and you have dry, crispy, sweet potato chips. They are delicious and some salt. Sweet potato, cassava, and green plantain Fried chips. Yuca or cassava strips. The secret to perfect yukitas is buying the yuca or cassava from somebody who knows that it's fresh. Otherwise, you can buy it frozen, but it must be at room temperature when you use it. Use a mandolin and slice it. Heat oil that has never been used. Grab a bunch, place them in the oil. Once you have them in the oil, immediately use a long fork, swirl your yukitas around so that they don't stick. Wait until you can tap them and they sound and feel that they are crispy. Put them on the edge of the pot with your straining spoon so that most of the oil leaves and then place them over paper towels, add some salt and enjoy. Fried plantain chips, super simple to make. Grab a plantain, peel it, pass it through a mandolin, slice it and place them into the oil. Make sure you have good oil that has never been used to fry and place it in a caldero or in a small pot so that you don't have to use that much oil. I usually use a and eight inch a little and I cover it and I fill it up with about three inches of oil. The oil should be at 350 degrees. You keep that temperature going for about three to four minutes. When you put them in the oil, you mix with a fork, with a steel fork so that the fork doesn't melt, so that they don't stick one to each other. If you see they are getting hard and toasty, they're done. You can even do this by tapping them a little bit within the oil and you can hear that they sound crunchy and toasty. Take them out, put them on paper towels and you are done. Add some salt and enjoy. Pesto in seconds. Bring some water to a bowl in a pot. Turn it off, grab the basil from the stems and place them in the hot boiled water for about 10 to 15 seconds. Remove them from the water and dry them with paper towels or with a regular towel. Then cut off the leaves from the thinnest part of the stems. You don't have to take out the leaf by leaf. Place all of this in a food processor with three cloves of garlic and a little bit of pepper. If you want to use it immediately, just add some olive oil and salt. If you want to freeze it, you don't have to add anything. Just the basil alone will do. You can add salt, you can add pepper, you can add garlic, you can add anything you want. You could even add the oil and freeze it. Enjoy basil in seconds.